Hi, on this Excel on Mac video, I'll show you how to create a basic XY scatter chart. Now, XY scatter chart is used in statistics, and what you want to do is compare uh, one variable over another. So we have an independent variable and a dependent variable. In this example, we have our independent variable, which is our hour studying. So we're going to assume that the more hours that we spend studying, the score on a test should be higher. So that's going to be our dependent variable. So the number of hours studying or is independent variable, that affects our dependent variable, the score that we're going to get. That's dependent on that. So how do we create a XY scatter chart? You just need to select the your X and your Y. When you think about it, this is your X and this is your Y. You just need to select that. Or you can just select anywhere in it. Hopefully Excel is smart enough to figure out that this is your range. Go to Insert. And under the Charts, you want to select scatter. And Excel was smart enough to figure out we have A1 to B8, and that is the range of cells that we're going to include into our scatter. Make this a little bit bigger. Let's get rid of the grid lines here. Select that, delete. Select the horizontal grid lines, delete. Some things that we can add to it that Excel didn't get right was the X axis labels and the Y axis labels. So our X axis labels is our hour studying. So go to add chart element and we're going to add our axis titles. For the horizontal, that's going to be hours. Let's delete this. That will be hours studying. And for the Y axis, we're going to select primary vertical. And we can actually, instead of typing in, we can type equal and select that, that's going to put in the score. We could have done the same thing there, but if we do, if you wanted to type in something specific, you can put it in there. For a label, we can double click that and just call it something like uh, hours studying. Versus score. So the more hours that we spend studying, the higher score that we get. We can also create a trend line for this. Select one of the points here, right click, and add a trend line. And for the most part, all you need to do is add a linear trend line. You see that the most of the points, the data points, are kind of sloping up. This trend line kind of shows it. Another thing to think about adding is to display equation on this chart. And this kind of gives you a regression uh, equation. And what this can tell you is if you want to do some forecasting, and say, well, let's say that I spend nine hours of studying. If you plug in the formula here, x is your nine hours. Nine times 5.426 plus 4826 is going to kind of give you a forecast of your score. And if we say that, well, let's say I, just, I spent zero hours studying. It's saying that if I spent zero hours studying, which is my x, my score is going to be 48.286. So if you kind of follow this line here, it's going to take you to this point of 48.286. Now that's the forecasting part of this particular trend line and this equation. And that's what it's kind of doing when you have your trend line there. So it's of course, it's a forecast, it's an estimate. And when you create your XY scatter chart, uh, these are kind of like a little bit more of the intermediate or advanced techniques that you can think about to help you do some forecasting based on these historical uh, variables that you have for your X and Y data points. So that's your basic introduction to how you create an XY scatter chart for Excel on a Mac. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.